All right, thanks, Kate. Taking a live look now above Muscle Shoals from our Way 31 Air Care System SkyCam Network. With some parts of the Shoals area getting three to four inches of rain over the last several days, that's causing the Tennessee River to swell a bit. Way 31's Brecken Terry is live at Wilson Dam with an update from the Tennessee Valley Authority on flood control. Brecken. Yeah, guys, that's right. You can actually see Wilson Dam just behind me here with just about all of its spillways open. That's 1 million gallons of water per second flowing through the dam. Now, the river did crest at about 16 and a half feet just today. Now, the slight rise in the Tennessee River did cause the city of Florence to evacuate campers from McPar McFarland Park on Friday. That's standard procedure for the park and camping guests. TVA told me it's monitoring and adjusting flows based off of rain impacts throughout their dam network. They do encourage people to stay safe on the river with these high flows. And we're spilling it all nine uh, main river dams uh, all the way from Knoxville through North Alabama and to Kentucky. And we just stress to people to uh, be cautious. There's a danger zone above the dam on the lake side and there's a danger zone below the dam on the river side. Now, TVA river forecasters tell me they didn't have as much rain in their northeastern dam systems, which has helped, which has helped lessen the impacts here in the shoals. Now, TVA did tell me that since the Tennessee River is cresting today, they're actually going to be slowing these flows uh, later on this afternoon through the dam here in Muscle Shoals. Live in Muscle Shoals, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.